Yeah, well, uh, first of all, keen to go back to a deal, yes, uh, probably. But uh, we have to remind ourselves that these talks uh, tomorrow are resuming after a very long uh, pause and resuming under more difficult circumstances after a change of regime in Iran. Uh, to be polite, a question mark about uh, the positions of the new regime. Everybody fears that the positions will be uh, harsher, more difficult. So uh, it's not as if uh, in the coming week that anybody is thinking that there is going to be some kind of breakthrough or a deal. In principle, you're right. The United States wants to resume the um, uh, efficacy of uh, a nuclear deal. Uh, the European powers, uh, although their position is slightly different than the Americans, in general, that is uh, the direction. But I think there are very few illusions uh, on both sides of the Atlantic that uh, there is any chance of a fast breakthrough. Yes, and I want to talk to you about the latest, perhaps, strain in relations between Israel and its biggest ally, uh, the U.S. When Bennett uh, met with uh, President Biden at the White House, he said that Israel would not publicly speak uh, against uh, a deal with Iran. That is not the case anymore. Yeah. Just last week, Bennett speaking out, saying Israel is obviously not a part to any future deal, but it would also not abide uh, by such yes. deal. Is really. Re, uh, again, yeah. with the rhetoric of his predecessor. That, uh, yes, although uh, I think the big difference is that, uh, first of all, there's a different administration in the United States, not just a different government in Israel. So the rhetoric is not easily comparable. Uh, but, you know, Israel wasn't, pre wasn't part of the previous deal either, uh, formally. It's an agreement between the uh, Western and Eastern powers and Iran. Uh, Israel is just uh, the, is subject to that uh, agreement. And I think that uh, uh, Naftali Bennett needs to speak up uh, for his own political reasons. Uh, I think that everybody understands that there is a, a, an element of strain here between Israel and the U.S. But there is a very close and strong coordination between the two sides. And I think that that is one of the novelties of uh, uh, these last months that uh, although uh, there might be differences of opinion and differences of objectives, there is a lot of transparency between Israel and uh, the United States. Uh, there's a lot of uh, talks between Israeli experts and American experts on the subject. And since, honestly, everybody understands that the best case analysis would be that this is going to drag on for a long time, these talks. The previous ones for the agreement in 2015 took years to uh, finalize, and there is no reason to think that this is going to be a fast one. Yes, and all of this is happening while uh, both Israel and the U.S. says Iran doesn't need a lot of time before it can accelerate. That is true, but w the, the one element that nobody knows is does yeah. Iran actually want to break through to become a nuclear power, or will it remain content of being a threshold country, as you call it, country with a capability but that it does not materialize. That is a political question, not a technological question. Yes, and one that Israel cannot uh, um, trust. Well, or, possibly. Or uh, by. Well, you know, there, there, there are many Israeli experts, including or maybe mainly in the uh, security apparatus in, the, uh, uh, in, in, uh, in Israel who think that that is an element that has to be uh, factored in. What are the intentions and what are the long-term objectives uh, of Iran? But for the moment, as you said at the beginning, Naftali Bennett, Yair Lapid, they meet with their uh, leading counterparts in order to plead the case of Israel against such an agreement. Is that the right thing? Well, you know, the voices are becoming stronger and stronger saying that the big mistake was uh, to push the United States to leave the agreement. And that in the time between the moment that uh, 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 the, the American president announced, President Trump announced that the U.S. will unilaterally leave that agreement, and today Iran has made a very, very significant stride to come closer to nuclear capability. Well, definitely will be very interesting in Vienna tomorrow. Former Israeli ambassador to France, Daniel Shek, thank you so much for your insight. Thank you.